Hey everybody, this is Chuck, and uh, I really appreciate you uh, stopping by my channel. Uh, this is a quick video, and I'm doing a voiceover on iPhone videos. And of course, the iPhone video, I did not turn it sideways, so it's going to be narrow pictures. But I was posting the items on Instagram. So uh, please bear with the, the video in that, in that uh, state that you'll see it on the screen. Uh, I'm going to do voiceovers on the clips because I had music playing in the background as I did it. And uh, what, we, what this video is about is my modifications to the pit barrel smoker so that you can actually grill meat. Um, and you'll see it in the video. So hey, uh, hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend and uh, get some barbecuing in. And uh, thanks a lot for stopping by the channel. Well, let's get started here. This is not my pit barrel. This is Adam Booth, A-Bomb79. And he showed this the other day on his Instagram page of raising the charcoal basket. It's something that I've pondered for the longest time. And... When I saw this on Instagram, well, he got me going. And uh, you'll see here in the video what I do. He, he ended up using the meat hooks and hanging the coal basket off of the rebar. Uh, and you can see it's there under the grill. And that works well. Um, I was worried about balance. Um, but again, Adam's uh, one hell of a uh, chef barbecuer. And uh, he can definitely figure things out. So you can see there he's got the charcoal basket raised and he's going to get ready to start cooking. Here he has a, I think it's a tomahawk steak hanging down in the smoker. So the coals are at the very bottom of the basket or the, uh, the barrel, I should say. And he is smoking the tomahawk. And then he will subsequently move the charcoal basket back up so it's up at the very top of the cooker he'll reinstall the grate and then he will end up charring the outside of the steak it's uh, a reverse sear is what it's called um, i've never done that but uh, it certainly looked like it turned out great so here we are in my pit barrel in my backyard and if you look down you'll see angle iron that is on the side of the charcoal basket and I'm showing you the pins that the actual grate hangs on. I made this handle to easily reach down and balance the charcoal basket bring it up and you can see the angle iron and the pins that are in the barrel are not uh, three, accurate, three divisions so I actually had it backwards there when I went to hang it, but you can see how easy it hangs on the pins. And then I made the angle iron at two different heights, so I have a different height for the charcoal basket uh, if I want to raise or lower the charcoal. My handle turned out great. Fits it so it fits right in the center. Bites on the handle, lift it up, and I was just showing you setting it down the ground. The charcoal pan is underneath it to catch the charcoal, and you can see all the angle iron around the perimeter. Fits perfect. Here I've uh, started barbecuing, or started the charcoal, I should say, and it was kind of easy to start it at the top of the pit barrel rather than down. Very simple to take the hot coals and lower it down into the bottom of the pit barrel and getting ready to uh, start smoking some chicken. So I've got some uh, half chicken breasts, or half chickens, I should say, hanging in the smoker. And uh, those will go for about, oh, an hour and a half. Uh, check them. And so put the lid on and let those boys smoke. And uh, when smoking like that, you do really don't get crispy skin. Um, so here I am. I'm done smoking the chicken, taking the rebar out so that I can lift the basket. And uh, you can see, let's see, I got to go over and get my handle. There's my handle that I made. And uh, very simple to pick up the basket. Nice, nice hot coals. 
come up and have it set right there on the uh, pins. Put my handle away. Of course, it dropped. <laughs> and uh, now uh, I'm going to take a poker and kind of uh, kind of uh, work the charcoal around just to get it flaming up hotter because uh, down in the smoker it's uh, it's a little bit timid uh, putting back in the uh, the uh, rebar which uh, supports the hanging meat but here we end up uh, setting the grill on top of the rebar but I think I'm getting the poker now am I getting the poker now I don't know I'm wandering around what am I doing let's see what I'm doing here Stay with me, guys. Come on. Come on. Since it's a voiceover, I'm not uh, clipping. Maybe I should go back and clip. Oh, there's the poker. Yep, there's the poker. So I've been working the charcoal to get the charcoal nice and hot and uh, ready for searing the, uh, the chicken. So next thing will be putting the grate on and... Uh, Let's see if I, I can't remember. My, my grate was, I'm turning it upside down if I wanted to put the lid on it. Um, did I put it upside down? Let me look. When it goes in there, come on. Yeah, the grate's upside down. You see the handles are pointing down. And I did that in case I wanted to put the lid on. Uh, with the rebar that tall, the handles would hit the lid. So upside down works. But of course, my grate being upside down was really pretty filthy. So I let it heat up, and there I'm just cleaning the, uh, the residue off the grill. Uh, so it'll be clean. It's certainly not A-bomb clean. There's the chicken breasts that came out of the smoker. And I'm going to throw those onto the grill now. And now I can sear the uh, outside of the uh, chicken breasts and get some uh, barbecue sauce on them. So it worked out well. I just want to tell you, it, it just worked out great. You'll see here the breasts are on there, and there's with some barbecue sauce on them, and they're getting a nice nice sear on them. You can see the uh, bubbling on the, uh, on the leg there, and uh, they turned out great. So thanks you, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you like my modification that I did to the pit barrel. I'm excited about it. Like I said, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time and kept trying to figure out how I would hang the basket. And uh, once I watched uh, Adam's video, it got me spurring on my thought process, and uh, I think I got a winner there. All right, have a great Memorial Day weekend, guys. Take care.